All right, guys, I'm back. Um, made some dinner. Um, watched some TV. Uh, so what am I working on now? Finishing up all of the tracks. I got one link right here. Um, catching up some of the base code on that. Um, got the uh, right side tracks on. So, got the Q-tips in there, holding them down. I super glued them to the uh, upper wheels here, um, just to hold them in place. And got the Q-tips in there, trying to set the sag. Um, I don't know if you can guys can see it here, but this front sprocket doesn't fit into the tracks just because the inside and outside sprockets don't line up. Uh, I don't know why. Just looking at this one, looking all the way across, you can see that all the uh, teeth line up across. Um, and most of the time on something like this, Dragon puts a little notch so you can only put it in one way. Um, so I guess in the mold or something, this one was screwed up. So, But once I get some mud and gunk put in there, um, you sh it shouldn't be as noticeable. So um, Just going to start working on the uh, other side, I guess. Um, there's a little bit better shot of the back, I noticed. When I looked at the old video, or the video I posted earlier, <laughs> you couldn't really see the back at all. It was so dark. So I'm hoping this is a little bit brighter. And then I added uh, another row of tracks up here. These are the Winter Ketten uh, with the little extensions. Um, but I don't really have too many spares of those, so any more spare tracks are going to have to be the original ones. So, Alright, let's see if we can get these other tracks on. Oh, and another thing. Okay. Uh two of these wheels got two of those and somewhere or another I managed to lose uh, two of them um, I had all my modeling stuff uh, and a big giant tote um, not that long ago just finished getting it all unpacked and uh, I guess somewhere between packing it up and unpacking it I've lost them so unlike these little I, or road wheels, um, they don't send any, any extras of uh, the smaller wheels, so we're having to scratch build them. Just got a little brass pin there and two uh, styrene discs. Um, I'm actually might stop by the hobby shop tomorrow and see if I can find a styrene tube or rod, the same diameter that I need. Uh, to make the other one just because man cutting these out and then sanding them perfectly well not even perfectly round but somewhat round uh, was kind of a pain um, and I'm still missing a lot of the detail so I'm probably gonna have to wet either you know weather the heck out of it or maybe use a styrene tube and then a, st a smaller styrene rod so that way I can get that inset there for that hub. Um, another issue I'm coming up with is that's inset down in there, uh, that pin, and this one isn't. So when they're pushed all the way in there, uh, the scratch bit one sticks out farther. So the only way I've been able to figure out how to fix that is to I shave down that one uh, mount there so that way they sit evenly. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna test fit, fit these tracks on there. Um, make sure I got enough links.
put this idler wheel on. nice is as long as you don't glue this idler wheel in place it's um, adjustable forward and back so if you made your links a little too long or a little too short you can move that around and get everything just right or at least quite a bit closer yeah. looks like I got plenty of tracks on there so I just got to make, finish that one scratch built, um, God, I can't remember what these are called, scratch built wheel um, for up here and then make another one. Um, not really happy with this one so we'll see. So I got to make two of those and then I'll glue them up to the top and link them up together here and then finish doing all the weathering back in here. Um, For those of you that are new to the channel, which is quite a few, um, this is the camo theme I'm going after. It's uh, based off of the second SS Panzer Division. That's right. Um, supposed to be early 19 or spring of 1943 in Kharkov. Um, uh, it's like a gray base coat. Um, and then it's got this uh, yellow um, camouflage, but it's a really interesting camouflage. It's not like most of your other, uh, you know, Panzer IVs or Tiger camouflage. Um, and then I went over it with a whitewash, which has been uh, worn away pretty well. Um, so, turned out alright. The other thing I'm not really happy with is when I did all the whitewash and weathering, or not weathering, but uh, oil washes on here, this hadn't been finished painted yet, so you can kind of tell it's not uniform. So, I'll figure something out to finish fix that up. But I think it's looking nice. The winter kitten, I, I really like the look of those versus the standard, you know, tiny tracks. So, I don't know if I'll do a diorama for this one or not. Um, if I do, it'll probably have to have some sort of snow in it, seeing as I got a whitewash on it. Um, and nobody locally sells. Uh, fake snow so I'll either have to order some or see if maybe one of the companies can order it in or one of the shops can order it so well hopefully I can get this all done by November 11th so I can start on that uh, um, Canadian group build which uh, here it is We're doing the uh, Canadian Cougar so, and yeah, I've already opened it up, just took a peek in there. I've never built a trumpeter kit, so I was kind of seeing what I was getting into. I've built uh, some dragon models and Tamiya models, um, and they've all been nice, and I've heard some horror stories from a couple other companies out there, so. Anyways, uh, I guess that's going to be it for tonight. Um... I might weather these tracks some more, I'm not sure, or just call it a night. Thanks for watching.